Welcome back to the Hidden Structures Bootcamp series. Today we will be looking at 12 card packets. And as we will see, 12 is a particularly nice value because of all of its wonderful divisors. 2, 3, 4, and 6 all divide evenly into 12. And that will give us tremendous power in the field of mathematical card magic, as we'll see. So let's get started. So here's an overview of the three structure types that we have been studying in this boot camp series. The first one, of course, is a two cycle structure and it would have this form here. This is a mirrored structure, of course, and it would have that form. And an AMP structure would look like this. Now I want to point out that if you go to the Hidden Structures channel, you'll find a demonstration called Law of Attraction and it uses a 12 card packet and it uses the principles that we'll be talking about today. Okay, I thought we would quickly begin with a traditional Max Maven routine. And so this is where we need 12 cards, of course, because that's the number we're looking at. Now, unlike the traditional Max Maven routines in the past, the discard pile this time will actually be fairly nice. Half of the cards will be an AMP and the other half will be a mirrored structure. So if you think back to some of the other routines we've done with six cards and eight cards and ten cards, you can do any of those on the heels of doing this one right here by just selecting the right kinds of cards. And you can do that virtually with the cards face down because you'll know the structure type. So let's quickly do that. Let's quickly do a traditional Max Maven routine, but this time with 12 cards. Okay, so recall what we need here is a mirrored structure. Now what I've decided to do that's um, a little bit different than what we've done in the past is go ahead and work with a different categorical relation that relates the cards that we will be pairing up. And so what we're going to look at is we're going to look at this order packet, ace through queen, which of course there's 12 cards here, uh, but we're going to look at it as mirrored from the start. So the ace and the queen are quote related, the two and the jack are related and so forth. So how are those related? Well, these two cards add up to 13 and that will be true as you come in from either end all the way to the middle two cards, which are a six and seven. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Okay, so with a Max Maven routine, we always have to have a mirrored structure, and we do now because we're viewing that as mirrored relative to a sum of 13. So the goal really for every Max Maven routine is to try to deal these out in such a way that the cards actually come up to be a pair of whatever pairing we've chosen. So here you would just point out to the spectator that we're wanting card values that add to 13. Now, of course, a jack is an 11, a queen is a 12. That does not add up to 13. So we would try that again. And of course, you can do random stacking on those piles. So the spectator might do a left and right pile again and hope that their luck's a little bit better this time. Nope, that adds to 6, not 13. Now, you have learned already that you, we could do this forever and these top cards will never ever add up to 13, which is absolutely amazing. Oh, 14, kind of close, but not 13. Okay, so after having the spectator do that as many times as they would like, you deal them out one more time into a left and right pile. And now you allow the spectator to choose the top card of either pile. So maybe they choose this one here and we'll set it aside. Now you have to kind of think through this. Um, we have six cards here and five there. And remember the mirrored mate to this one is the bottom card. Let me just show you that. See these add to 13. So, um, so we have six cards here, five here. We'll think back to our video on 11 card packets. It's the middle card that was the lone survivor for the down under deal. Okay, so you can review that if you need to, which means that this bottom card here, if we 
place this packet of six cards on top, we'll actually sandwich that card right in the middle. So there'll be five on either side of it. So right now, this is all set up for a down under routine, where if we do down under repeatedly, the lone surviving card will be the mate to this one here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we go down, under, 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 down. Okay, so how did we do? Did we find the mate to this one? We did indeed. Those add to 13, which was the goal. So as pointed out right here on our, on our piece of paper, what will happen is if we put our revealed pair, which is the 10 and the 3, if we set this pair on top of the discard pile, so right on top of the discard pile right here, what will happen is the top six cards will form an AMP. So those will form an AMP right there. And then the bottom, if I can get these out, <laughs> the bottom six will form a mirrored structure. So this will be a mirrored packet relative to cards that have values that add to 13. Okay, and I can even just quickly show you that. So the top six will be an AMP. So what that means then is these two will add to 13. The next two need to add to 13. They do. 9 and 4 is 13. So that is an AMP relative to cards adding to 13. And then the bottom we claim is mirrored relative to that same categorical relation. So we have 5 and 8, 13. Queen and Ace, 13. 6 and 7. Okay. So from here, you can actually use, this is mirrored, so you could do a six card uh, Max Maven routine if you wanted from here. Maybe we'll just do one of those, but see, you can do any of the previous ones. Okay, so this is mirrored already. Why don't we just go ahead and take advantage of that? Okay, so because it's mirrored, that means these will never add up to 13, which is the relationship that we required the pairs of cards to satisfy. So the spectator can do left, right, left, right. Those top cards will never add to 13. Now, if they choose any card, maybe we'll choose this one this time. And then think back. We have this five card packet, okay? Do you remember something special about five cards? In fact, um, both five card packets and 11 card packets, which is what we were working with a minute ago when, after we had taken off that top card, um, they both have a very special property in that the middle card is the lone surviving card, okay? So here, what will happen is this card here is the mirrored mate, we call it, to that one. So these two will add up to 13. Well, we want that one in the middle. So just think about what we'd have to do to get that in the middle. Wouldn't we need to stack these three on top, okay? And so from here, in fact, from here we have a number of choices actually. <laughs> so we could do we could do a down we could do an under down to bring it to the top, or we could actually do a Klondike shuffle. You remember that the middle card rises to the top, or we can do this repeat LR. Okay, we had a number of different ways of doing it. Um, why don't we go ahead and do the uh, Klondike just you know for fun here? So if we go through and perform a Klondike shuffle. It brings a solitary card to the top. Is that the mate to this one? Do these add up to 13? They do indeed. Okay. And then you may even remember that after a Klondike shuffle in this particular case, we get a very special packet here. We get an AMP. Do you remember that? So here we have two that add to 13 and those two. Okay. So there's much that you can do with this packet after just performing the traditional Max Maven 12 card routine, okay? So I wanted to tie it in with previous things that we've done as well.